Hey guys, FS Physique is here with you. Good to be back. Uh, today I'm doing first rounds through the Smith & Wesson Governor. And really excited to get out and shoot this gun before winter comes and the range closes and all that kind of stuff. Um, got a few different things to shoot through today. Let's see, with the Winchester here we've got some 7.5 shot. That's like, like dust, right? <laughs> and then we've got some number 4 shot from Remington. We'll try this out. I also bought a couple of different types of slugs. I mean slugs through through the governor. That should be interesting. These are quarter ounce from Federal. Okay. And then these are one fifth ounce from Remington. And then of course I have some of the very popular uh, Federal 410 handgun uh, buckshot with triple out buck in it. Um, so we'll try that. And I think this is going to be what I'm going to use uh, to keep in this gun at home. Um, I'm not real, I know the uh, Winchester PDX is very popular, but I'm not really interested in using that. I think this makes much more sense to me, but we'll see. Um, and then of course I've got in the moon clips, I've got some 45 ACP, which I will uh, also try. So hope you're, you enjoy this and let's see what happens. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, Smith & Wesson Governor here. We're set up with uh, some two and a half inch shot shells, 410 gauge of course, that are seven and a half shot. I have no idea what to expect from this, so uh, you're gonna be just as surprised as I am. Or maybe I'll be more surprised than you are. Maybe you've had an opportunity to fire a governor. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let's check it out and, and see what happens. I don't know if shooting steel with seven and a half shot makes a lot of sense, but that's what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, I don't even see any effect. I should probably be shooting this at paper or cardboard, huh? I'll do, I'll tell you this, when I'm done, I'll go down and look at the targets and see if I can see any indication that they've been shot. Well, I think I saw the wadding hit, hit a target. And we're out. Hey, at least I didn't flinch on that, right? You know what? That one didn't fire. Look at that light primer strike. Alright, so I'm gonna put this back in. Gonna remember which way the Smith and Wesson's turn, which is counterclockwise. And I'm gonna try it again. There we go. Wow. That's one thing I've never heard of with the governor is light primer strike. So that was kind of interesting. Seven and a half shot, I gotta say, kicks a bit uh, more than I would expect from a handgun, but it's not bad. It's certainly manageable. Um, like I said, I didn't know what to expect, but let's try some other stuff. You know, like I said, I'd, I said I'd come down here and just see if there was any indication that I hit the targets. Um, and no, I can't see anything. So I'm going to move to the number four shot, and I'm just going to set this piece of cardboard out here and see if, you know, maybe I can tell that I've hit something. Okay? Okay. This time I've got the governor loaded up with some number four shot from Remington. I do notice that the Remington um, shells fit a lot tighter into the cylinder. Um, I don't know if that really matters, but we'll take a look and see what happens here. Hopefully this won't be too jarring or unexpected or anything like that. Wow. That's a lot more stout than the number seven and a half shot. Hand cannon. Well, at least I didn't flinch. Oh, those were pretty massive. 
Got to bend down and pick them up. <laughs> wow, so number four shot's got some kick to it. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at number four shot. Oh, yeah. You can see some holes. It put some holes in it. Alrighty. Okay, well... Number four had some uh, had some kick to it. I mean, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like shooting a 357 or something. But uh, yeah, it's got some kick to it. Can't wait to see what the slugs do. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, Let's see if I can see where I'm hitting things. That is stout. That is stout. I am kind of curious. Hit somebody, the sound would scare me. Well, that's part of it. But yeah, I can see. Well, and you know, of course, this size, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm getting, yeah. you know, holes or I'm getting what. I guess that's got to be. That's got to be the. Sl oh, holy shit! <laughs> well, all right. There's a souvenir. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would ruin somebody's day. Yeah, <laughs> these are Remington. These are one fifth ounce, I think. Let's see if I can hit anything with the slugs. Click. Well, at least it didn't flinch too bad, but I got one in here with a light primer strike, so hold on just a sec. That's the second one that's happened, so. But this stuff isn't, you know, this is regular 410 ammunition. It's not the special stuff that's made for handguns, so I don't know if that might have some. Actually, I lied. Apparently, it, it went. Yeah. Huh. All righty. Okay, let's see. This is the, this is the 410 triple lot buck. So shooting at steel is probably silly. Yeah, actually, I really like that. That's the uh, that's the stuff that Federal makes uh, triple lot buck for you know supposedly self defense. That's real nice, actually. I was surprised to knock the plate down. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hit it that well. <sighs> All right, let's see. I'll put in the forty five ACP. If it'll go in. There we go. Okay, I just want to make sure the cylinder isn't restricted there. All right. Do you need to go down range? No, go ahead. Okay. We'll see, we'll see how it works as a 45 now. <laughs> Wow, that sounds weird. Yeah, it did. There we go. That's where it is. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, big flinch on that one. Okay, I'll we'll try another. Try another six rounds of 45 here. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> ah, hate it when you run out. That wraps it up with the governor. Thanks for looking in on me. <laughs>